reset the view once again to show you some of the export capabilities um, that are built into the tool as well. Let me go ahead here and do another kind of interesting um, geo filter of an area. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a quick bounding box. Let's say, for example, I'm particularly interested in traffic just off the coast of uh, Somalia here. I'm going to draw a quick bounding box. And I'm going to actually going to turn on vessels that are inside that. Again, you can see it's limited to just that area, which is a really nice way of working with the data. Very easily, I'm actually able to click on here, turn on history and prediction, click view report, and the tool will actually go to, the, to our data and collect the historical uh, traffic for that bounding box and the predicted position. We'll then turn that into a very easy export that you actually can decide to download and then process with other tools. This is a really good way of extracting the data and working with it. Okay, finishing up here, I've gone back to a global view and I have everything filtered by color, uh, by speed. This can be a really interesting way, again, of kind of digging into uh, vessels of interest, ones that are moving particularly faster than normal, maybe moving towards areas where there's concern. Really just highlighting the capability of the underlying data. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up now. And this is just really the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the data sets that are available. And how, the vision, and how it can be visualized and used uh, for use cases.